Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a luxury haul, unboxing, a little bit of both. I've been shopping a lot recently so I thought I would show you guys what I've got basically. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe, check out my Instagram and let's just get straight into it because there is a lot to show you guys. <laughs> Before I actually start I wanted to talk about tax tax returns, getting your tax back when you shop abroad. So I recently went to Spain, I went to Barcelona and Ibiza and I picked up a lot of pieces in Spain, like all the things that I wanted. I picked them up in Spain and obviously it's cheaper in euros anyway, but also, which this has been a thing for ages anyway, but like something that I just never really considered or thought about, claiming your tax back before you enter back into the UK. So I asked for a tax receipt and then at the airport I asked for my tax back and I got my tax back and that was fantastic. I always used to think it was like such a long thing but it's actually so quick. Some of the stores even just fill out the form for you and you just get it straight onto and the money comes straight back onto your bank account or credit card or however you paid which is like great and so much easier electronically but also if it doesn't then you just get the cash at the airport before you leave the country something that is known but like I've never taken this opportunity for one I didn't realize this literally anything that you buy from Europe or from the other country you can get the tax back so yeah with that being said the first thing I got was from Cartier I went into the Cartier store in Barcelona they were so lovely so nice it was like empty which is great um, and they give you this little bag so it comes in this white bag that is like covered so that when you leave the store obviously like there's thieves about nobody sees what you bought or whatever so it comes in this bag with a cover and you just like open it to reveal your Cartier item in the bag is just your little Cartier item so I picked up the Cartier love ring I've wanted it for ages I am a yellow gold kind of gal as you can see and I've got a yellow gold bracelet I prefer just wearing solid gold items that I don't have to take off if I'm going swimming or getting it wet like I'm very lazy with jewelry I just want to keep it on don't have to take it off it won't tarnish anything like that so I prefer to save a little to like buy things that will last me longer. So let me show you guys the ring. So all of that and it's not even in there. Cool. Okay, so here is the ring. I don't know if you can see it properly. So yeah, it's essentially just a gold ring. <laughs> um, and I just love it. I love it. I think it goes really nicely. Oh, it goes really nicely with the bracelet that I already have. I got it for my middle finger. Yeah, I love it. And I also got a little engraving. Like Gordon said, you can get a little engraving for free. So I thought that was cute. <gasps> Am I okay? I literally love it. The love bracelet is next on my list. I'm coming for you. <laughs> So a lot of these pieces are actually not for this weather, this season, but I just wanted to show you guys anyway. Next thing is also something that I've wanted for so long. So the next thing is from Hermes. Safe to say my suitcase was very over on the way back. I actually had to buy a whole nother suitcase, but we're not going to get into that. So yeah, I picked up this from Hermes. So I picked up the Hermes Oran, Oran sandals, I think that's how you say it. Um, I literally haven't opened it since I got it so that I could see it for the first time again in this video. Mm. I actually haven't seen them since I bought them or tried them on or anything. Oh, look at that. I love them so much. So they are a calfskin leather sandal. This is what they look like. They've got the cutout H for Hermes. Um, I picked these up in the brown colour, but I think on the website they're called gold, or in Hermes they call them like gold. Um, but I literally love them. Oh, that 
colour. I literally can't wait to rock these next summer. This is going to be my sandal of the summer next summer. <laughs> um, I picked them up in a size 41 and a half. I'm usually, which is a size 7. I'm usually a size 7, but I think you're meant to go up half a size because they come up a little bit small. So yeah, I went up half a size. So I got 41 and a half, so 7 and a half. Oh, they're just so perfect. Yeah, this is just something that I really wanted. So while I was away, I just thought, why not? I'll get them. So the next thing that I got is from Gucci. I went to the Gucci store in Ibiza. Like Ibiza Marina is like a new kind of section that they've opened up. I think it's only open like earlier this year. It was so nice. There's like loads of designer stores by the marina, by the yachts, where the rich people are. Um, so yeah, I went there. So all the stores are quite new and it's like really pretty, really nice. And I picked up... I absolutely love when you get two dust bags with like a pair of shoes from like a designer store. Um, because I just think having it in one is just, like, why? Why have one when you can have two? The shoes can be separately, separately resting. So I picked, oh, so I picked up the Gucci canvas slide sandal. I think that's what they're called. Um, and they've got the monogram Gucci print all over them. I literally love them. I kind of, this was kind of just like an impulsive buy. I just went into the Gucci store, saw them, tried them on, and he was like, do you want them? And I was like, uh, yeah, I actually really like them. So these are actually in the men's. The women's, I think, have like a burgundy sole. But I think I prefer this because it's like all one colour and goes with like more things for me because like, I don't really... I don't know, I think the burgundy would have gone anyway, but like this, would, I do really like just like all one colour all the way around. I would say they're there, I wouldn't say they're the most comfortable, like the sole is quite hard. Um, and it's going to take some breaking in because I've worn them already and they were hurting my feet. So I'm going to have to wear them quite a few times before like they soften up a bit, I guess. I don't really know. Actually a matching bucket hat in the store and the man was like, the sales assistant was like, do you want the hat? And I was like, um, no, I'm going to say no. But the match of this with a matching hat, it would have looked so cute. It actually would have looked so nice. <laughs> but I was like trying to limit myself in being crazy here because this was already impulsive. I was like, no, I don't need the bucket hat. I went to Louis Vuitton. Well, I tried to go to, I did go to in Spain, but it, this item was literally sold out everywhere, online, in store. It was sold out in the UK as well. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> but I did eventually get it. Let me actually show you what it is. Again, with the two dust bags. Love that. I picked up. So I picked up the Louis Vuitton Pool Pillow Comfort Mules and when they said comfort and pillow they were not lying. These are extremely comfortable, like insanely comfortable. It's actually like you're stepping on a pillow. I love these so, 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 so much and I'm so happy that I was able to get my hands on them because they were sold out everywhere. I called up the customer service in the UK and she was like yeah it's sold out everywhere I was like okay she's like keep checking it's meant to be like a limited edition because they came out this year I think and she told me on the phone that they're part of their permanent collection now and I was so happy she was like so they will be coming back in stock just wait literally the next day <laughs> okay I got a notification and I bought them so I ordered these in the UK obviously because they didn't have them in Spain I would prefer to get them so I could get my tags back they were £610, which I think is that expensive. I think that's quite expensive for like a slide because I feel like usually the slide, like designer slides, are like maybe like 300 400 But these are special, okay? The level of comfort. I'm going to have these forever. <laughs> that's what I'm going to tell myself. It has a wide strap with the LV monogram with, I think it's nylon. Yeah, I think it's nylon strap with a downing filling is what I saw on the website. So I think that's why it's so comfortable. It's literally, when they said pillow, they literally meant pillow. Like, you know, very comfortable. And the sole, the sole is like leather and like it's quite soft already, but I think over time, the more I wear it, it'll become very, very nice and soft. 
because it's comfortable already so like when I wear it in properly it will be very soft I'm not waiting till next year to wear these they're coming to be on holiday I will be wearing them by the pool but I'm wearing these in this winter with socks I'm going let's go the shoes but this shoe is actually can be worn whenever whatever season to be honest and it is from Balenciaga I picked these up way before I went on holiday I picked these up in Bista Village actually it's Bista Village um like a month ago or so so yeah I picked this I picked these up from Balenciaga in Bista Village if you're not from the UK Bista Village is basically like a designer outlet retail park I'm gonna say and yeah so you go there with stuff discounted obviously it's still expensive but it's discounted and you find hidden gems I would say like sometimes you're going to find nothing other times you'll find great things so what I actually picked up is the Balenciaga Speed <laughs> very late to the hype but wow I cannot believe the comfort it is not a joke they're extremely comfortable wow wow essentially it is a knitted sock with a chunky sole <laughs> but I'm not complaining these are so 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 comfortable I'm so happy I found them also obviously it was discounted I think I got them for like 300 I think the original price is like 595 so I'm happy I'm happy with that and usually though the Balenciaga um logo is like embroidered on embroidered is usually embroidered on like this part the front of the shoe but this has it like up here I also think this sock part is longer than like the most um common one of these shoes I'm not sure but yeah I don't mind either way if it's up here if it's down here I like it anyway I've literally been wearing these non-stop I think, I think they're so that it's such a versatile shoe like you can wear it with a dress trousers anything like it just goes so well I guess because it's like a sock <laughs> so yeah it literally goes with everything super comfortable great for long walks great for errands great for gym the last item which again i picked up from spain i picked up abroad can i just say <laughs> this tax thing i can't i just can't let it go like i can't get over it with everything that i bought i got like 400 pounds back which is just like like it's great like it's just it's free money <laughs> well obviously I already spent it but like 400 pounds back where I would have bought it in the UK anyway and Balenciaga this is actually a bag <laughs> no shoes this is actually a bag so I went into a Balenciaga store in Barcelona the sales assistant was so friendly she was so lovely so helpful so nice so we went in there a few days before and um, just looked around and then went in there again and I saw this bag and I was like wow I was like, this wasn't here the other day. She was like, oh, it's new season. I was like, oh, hey, okay. Um, so let me just show you the bag. I wouldn't say it's to everyone's taste. I don't know, but I love it. I love things that are different. Like I think most of, oh, I'm showing you. <laughs> most of the things that I own from Balenciaga are quite different. I think, I don't think a couple of their bags, I've never seen anyone with them. Yeah. So this is my little bag. <laughs> it is called the Balenciaga Bistro bag. In extra this is the extra small size it is like a faux leather is what they said well, when I like done my research it's like a faux leather kind of bag it's giving me scooby-doo <laughs> because it's like woven it's giving me scooby-doo <laughs> but I don't mind I love scooby-doo so it's like a basket bag it has a lot of space inside I'm gonna be rocking this this autumn because like I literally love it I wear an all-black outfit long leather boots leather pants black top black jumper black coat whatever jacket and then this this like across the body standing out like mm. yeah that's that's the vibe that I have going on in my head this has the Balenciaga luggage tag here I think it's removable but I quite like it on there it has two straps so it has like you can hold it like this and also it has across the body strap which is how I would wear it I'll just wear it like across my body kind of thing oh it has like a pocket inside as well which would probably only fit like a couple of cards <laughs> yeah probably a couple of cards and some change but I just really like this bag I like how different it is I don't know I love it I also think like a bag like this 
would be great in the UK weather. If it's raining, it's fine to get wet. Uh, it's easy to clean. I don't have to be precious with it. Like obviously a lot of when you get like a leather bag, I'm very precious with my leather bags. I don't want to wear them out in the rain. I don't want them to get ruined. I don't want them to get stained. Whereas this, I can literally just chuck it on and like not worry about the bag. I don't know what you guys think, but I love this bag. I love this bag, okay? That is everything in my haul. I am going to be on a shopping ban until my birthday in January. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know like if you like the items, if you didn't like them, what you think. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!